but it's quite quite an interesting effect and all of this is plumbed in to the z5000 which i think is on a delay setting actually let's put it onto a reverb setting let's dial in some reverb Evening, folks. Um, so I've had an interesting question come in on, on, a, on, a, on a comment. Uh, it's about the modular and about the neutron. Um, just getting to know the neutron. This is from Richard. Uh, I'm just getting to know the neutron. If you want to get into modular more, and if your bundle seems like a good place to start, I would actually go with the Arturia rack system, personally. Just saying. Um... I, and he said, I was thinking you might be able to take the LFO out of the bundle. So you could take the LFO out of any any module, right, um, that, that has an LFO. Uh, and indeed, in the original Create Audio bundle, one of those modules does indeed have an, have an LFO um, into the oscillator mix on the neutron. Interesting question. So initially, that was a question. So initially, I thought... What he wanted to do is use the oscillator to sort of mix between the oscillator one and oscillator two. Now, there is an oscillator mix patch point on the neutron, but it's it's on the out. So what that's doing is that's actually taking the output of both oscillators, as far as I know, as far as I know. I mean, I'm here to learn, right? I'm here to learn, which is why I make these videos. But what I understand is that the oscillator mix is two, these are two oscillators coming out. And what Richard would like to do is is be able to control that. So we want something on the in part of the patch bay. Now, as far as I can tell, there isn't an in for the oscillator mix. Um, and so I think if we imagine, it, you know, he's thinking if voice one was, say, a trumpet and voice two is a bagpipe, I think he wants to, like, go trumpet, 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 mix, bagpipe, 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 bagpipe mix, 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 trumpet, trumpet, trumpet. Um... It's, it's, it's an interesting idea. It's an interesting idea. I, I like it. I like it. Um, so I've set up the neutron, and I, yeah, as I say, you can't you can't sort of do that other than just manually, you know. Um, so this is this is this is a mix button. So you could like manually go. Burr, burr, burr. Um, I don't see a way of doing that with the LFO, but I you might be wrong, and if I am, please do tell me in the comments. But I have taken a, a stab at like creating that, you know, that the, sort of the two voices coming in and out and then being able to sort of play with that phase using LFOs. This is my attempt at that patch. Um, yeah, let's go. OK, so this is my attempt to do the mixing thing. So on the Neutron, um, the comments seem like, you know, could you? could you mix between you know essentially control that oscillator source now just using the neutron i mean i might be wrong but i don't see a way to do that there isn't um a a sort of a a patch bay a, pa a patchy point should I, should I say for controlling oscillator mix which is perhaps surprising but you know they've got limited amount of space and you know there's there's lots of options but there isn't i don't see an option for doing that now there's an assignable um out but i think i need an assignable in and then you i'd assign that to oscillate and mix but that isn't possible um so this is what i've done um, and since it was a question about the sort of the neutron and, and euro rack i have used my euro rack so what I can do is I can take separate outputs of oscillator one and oscillator two, and I'll set the two oscillators to quite different. Um, so oscillator one is is down in the depths, and it's a sort of um, uh, whatever that shape is. It's like a fast square wave. Is that? <laughs> Um, and oscillator two is a much higher register and that's a triangle wave so they should sound different and as i say they're coming out onto the separate ones now we're into euro rack land down here and this is a little complicated it's not necessarily answered the, qu the question but it's uh, it's my take on it and it's quite interesting so 
Let's do oscillator one, which oscillator one comes in to the Behringer 150, um, whatever that unit's called. So that is a bit of a Swiss army knife and has a lot of different functions. Um, so the signal's coming in there uh, and then it's coming out of that output to my voltage controlled amplifier. But it seems like the LFO down here will act on on that signal. So, so sort of sort of alludes to that on the uh, on, on, on the module. So I'm just going to put the camera down. So what does what does that sound like? So you should hear that oscillator one is pulsing in and out and we can make it pulse in and out quicker by adjusting the frequency or slowly by having a very low frequency of the LFO. And we could also change the sh you know, shape of that. The square wave gives us a nice little percussive tap As to, yes, does yeah. So it's a ramping, yeah. So we're going to keep it, or we, could, or we could keep it like this, which is much more on and off versus a sine wave, which is more whoa. Let's put it. Let's put it into this setting, and again, fast on and off, or slow on and off. And I've also got a delay, and the point of the delay is to try and unsync it from oscillator two. So let's turn that off. Um, oscillator two is the sig the signal from oscillator two is coming into my filter, um, and then out of the filter, and the filter's coming into the little mixer there. Ooh, can you? Ooh. Ooh, ooh, this this one here, um, but I'm controlling the frequency with another LFO, which is this white cable here. So similar to oscillator one with oscillator two, which should sound different. Yeah, triangle wave. And this is more not just like like a tr tr tremolo. This is more like a wah wah. Um, and the LFO is set very slow like a slow wah wah but I could set that to be fast okay so let's mix in oscillator one and you can hear that now and what you can basically do is just sort of tune these LFOs so they kind of in sync or out of sync or whatever, whatever you sort of want. But it's quite, quite an interesting effect. And all of this is plumbed in to the Z5000, which I think is on delay setting. Actually, let's put it onto a reverb setting. Let's dial in some reverb. It's interesting, isn't it? I feel it's a shame this isn't uh, like this new, the new one isn't isn't polyphonic. Um, that would sound really nice as the kind of an evolving pad as the voices come in and out. I think you need a deep mind to sort of set that kind of stuff up.
Okay, let's call it a day. Um, that's quite a long sort of explanation of, of setting everything up. Um, it actually took even longer to figure it out. Um, but I was, I'm sort of, it's, it's, it's a really interesting result. Um, um, and because you're essentially coming straight out of the oscillator, you know, one and two of the neutron, you're bypassing the envelope. So it's really good for setting up uh, a pad, albeit like a monophonic pad. But I like it. I like it. I like it. All right. Cheers, folks. Ta-ra.